Hello everybody, welcome back. Carl again. So today I was at Home Depot and um, I saw this Battery Tender Junior on sale for $19. So I had to buy it. Uh, it's a great price for this and it looked different than the one I had reviewed before. It actually looks smaller. So I went ahead and picked it up. The packaging looks the similar uh, to the same to me. Let me show you what I found. Uh, so when I got it home, I did in fact notice that it was smaller. Uh, as you can see, the indicator strip is here on the side. It is a lot thinner than the previous one. It has the same cord and the standard end. So I went ahead and took it apart and I noticed that it's a lot different. So the if you notice, the first thing they did was they got rid of the huge old-fashioned transformer and they have this electronic one. Uh, it has a couple more capacitors, of course, for that. Has an input fuse, a looks like a Y2 capacitor. Uh, this is a five volt regulator. Uh, now this here looks like the traditional pinout for the AT Tiny, just like the previous version. However, on the back you'll notice there's significantly more chips. Now the first one with the old school transformer had a pretty good size heat sink, and I noticed that uh, there was a chip here, uh, this three pin chip, and then this chip here, and I thought, hmm, oh well, that's interesting. So there's like this code in that they put on it makes it really hard to read these chips. However, I'll try to throw some pictures in. And we'll start here. This is reading this Q1, and this is a P-channel MOSFET 60 volts from ST Microcontroller. And the number on that is 3P6F6. So clearly this is the switch in transistor. Uh, the other thing you notice right here is two LEDs. So instead of using one bicolor LED, you're using actually two service mount LEDs to shine through the, the same hole there. Uh, this chip here is the brains of the operation. This is the microcontroller now, also from ST Micro. And this is a 8S003F3P6. And this reminds me very much of an AT Tiny. It's it's an 8-bit MCU with onboard EEPROM and also has 16 megahertz. So it's very similar to the AT Tiny. And then this chip over here with kind of all the support and circuit was odd and couldn't figure this out. However, the once I tell you read the name, you'll know this is an HV LED 815PF. And this is an ST micro controller as well. This is also just an LED driver, uh, clearly driving these chips. So I'm assuming that because this is only, I believe this is only um, 8K of space, so maybe there's not enough room to do all the LED stuff. I'm not quite sure why they needed this chip. So anyways, I'm not a super long video today. I just thought it was interesting to kind of look at the evolution of these. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this performs. I haven't noticed that the other ones feels hot or warm or anything kind of excessively. And I use the one that I showed a teardown before uh, exclusively on my Harley motorcycle there. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, it's kind of uh, bizarre that they went away from the old school transformer and the AT Tiny 85 and went straight to a new electronic switch and transformer and a uh, different microcontroller. Anyways, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if this helps you out, go ahead and hit that like button. I appreciate it a lot.